Okay, quick Wednesday morning radar update. So DAX is just through the uh, the lows of the range, isn't it? Sat on its pivot, FTSE 100 bumbling around, you know, punching the high of the range there. But we've got risk on in the 250 and the small caps there through the highs. If you'd have looked at the charts in the last couple of days, you'd probably have, you know, you know, if if your game is trying to second guess where the FTSE 100 go is going or something like that, you, you'd probably be quite bearish. You know, it's not not really very exciting. A big gap down and back up into this resistance sort of level. But you know, if if you do business in growth stocks, you're going to be looking at different markets and. Uh, you know, one thing we always say is, you know, after a trend day, you usually get a range bound day. It's high probability. Most people come to the markets after a train, uh, after a trend day, and they look for exciting things what are happening. And, and not much happens. It's it's more of a positioning day, the day after a trend day. It's highly likely after a trend day that. The markets just bumble around sideways and if they are going to go higher you know it's also highly likely you get that gap up and then that tedious drift into the zombie session then it closes on the highs then it gaps up again and it makes a little run a morning run it might do that tedious run into the zombie hours and then off it goes and it can do that over and over and over again and uh you know you look behind you you go hang on a minute you know where where what happened there you know I didn't take part in that so you know the job is just to what what what's the trend do well we're in a bull market the trend is up we've had a pullback you know our job is to buy the best merchandise as it emerges you know I'm not buying into, into the depths of hell on anything as it emerges just buy the best ones hold on for dear life to the trend so that is the job tie yourself in knots trying trying to sort of second guess these things looking at the markets moving on from that i'll quickly just jump into gold's just bumbling around in the in the range there commodities having a sort of day off aren't they they had a good day yesterday currencies bitcoin you know pull back in very normal area as we talked about it doesn't mean it's it, it's going to break out. It might do a bit of right side. It might even make another leg lower. Um, you know, I might just jump on the soapbox for a minute. And uh, it's Wednesday. We we haven't had a soapbox day in a in a while. The screaming and shouting about the likes of best of the best, Bitcoin, oh, you name it. Every stock what makes a big run. There'll be those who who. who who will say you you know it's the greater fool you're chasing this you chase you, you know I always say you chase you die you've got to, you've got to get the low risk entries and you know once you see a huge trend you've got to respect that you know you probably missed it so you know we're all about sort of getting on on board trends early and riding outliers now riding outliers means it's a huge winner so anyone in these stocks have made and Bitcoin as well they've made huge returns now this is the poster child Bitcoin is the poster child for the investing methodology and go figure investors are uber bearish on the whole you know This run here, the investors said told you so. This run here, the investors said told you so and claimed victory. Now they've done it again. They've, they've claimed victory up here and, you know, told you so. Now, <laughs> the reality is this is the poster child for the investing methodology. You know, you, you, you buy something, you dollar cost average over the years. And look at the percent returns, you know, even from that base. I look at the percent returns, the people who, who got on board this and traded it like an investment. So what do we learn from this? Well, investors are actually, you know, as a herd, they are highly opinionated on 
valuations and whether things are you know viable or not like you know like they were with in the internet when the internet started you know they're highly opinionated on these things but that screams in the face of what actually makes the money the investing methodology of dollar cost averaging over time makes the money without the opinions you know when when you're right it keeps working it pays off well when you're wrong you know if you've got risk management in place you, you you close it for a small loss but what tends to happen is you know they all claim victory told you so then it starts to move up and then they all start to believe in it and then they get involved late again so they claim victory when they should be looking for reward to risk scenarios and then they get excited about it and think maybe it is real when the reward to risk scenario is is in its later stages but the person who invests over time captures captures the the complete move and actually makes the returns so you know just just to open your mind there when, when everyone's strongly opinionated on these things maybe that stock you know has just made a lot of money for people maybe it's just a you know a huge cushion on their account and maybe they're they're holding it on a wide, wider a wider sort of bracket because they've got the cushion and uh, strong opinions don't get very far in the markets you know is it the peter brand quote you know strong opinions weakly held you've got to have you know you've got to have faith in what you do makes money and and that involves sort of you know the, the old back testing and how are you going to make money out of this market leg and dollar cost average trend follow swing tr whatever prove it makes money and just trade it and, and quit the opinions you know I, i'm a pretty opinionated person about what i do because i've done i've done the work and i've been trading it for so many years over a decade the, the same methodology you know i'm going to be very opinionated about about what i do but I do respect that I, tra I trade an investing style in my pension. You know, I trade a different different styles. So what I have to do is I have to come at every methodology I trade, and you know, and I have to put it in a box before I take the trade, so I will manage it that way. And you know, I'll just wind my neck in. You know, everyone will be shouting and screaming at each end of of every move, and I'll just wind my neck in and just and just you know play 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 them as they come to me as they come through the screens i'll just go swing or trade you know investment that's a monthly a monthly uh, debit from my account you know that goes into my pension but i'll just go swing or trade i'll put it in that box and that's how i will trade it and uh, put the blinkers on quit the noise opinions don't really make the money do they so into the small caps this morning it's an unbelievably frothy not frothy it's just an active day in the small caps today um it started off very quiet today i'll just i'll just up the uh yeah we've got lots on volume today it it started off with 20 in the small caps and, and now they've filled out so I'll just fly through these small caps in order of sector, put 29% in to be on average volume. There's a lot running today. We've seen quite a few of the, the GTRS trades. My phone making a noise. Um, hitting the screens this week. Portfolios do all time highs today. I've already seen a few trades. Uh, I'm in on volume today, XPD being another one of them on volume today, right side of a base. EBQ, obviously, you know, I, I had a look at that. So it's a recovery, isn't it? You know, it's, it's not for me, but it might be for someone. Well, I say recovery, you know, it's expected to pro post pre-tax. S4 continues.
instem just keeps grinding very slowly, but it's st still in the game, isn't it? No forward on Rotala. AUG. Yeah. I'll just. Uh, That and it it didn't it's gapped up on something today. Take over, yeah. How trends end. So there's a lot running today. It's an interesting day, and um, I'm going to walk away from the screens and uh, go and do some uh, something outside before. Or the rain comes it looks like it's a bit cloudy out so fantastic day WATR's up and uh, what else is up XPD's up WATR up 5% XPD up 5% CLG went through today hopefully the, the bigger players step into this once they've uh, had time to analyse it but uh, pretty good day out there okay